All right, just going to do a video exposing this really blasphemous uh, heresy taught in the New St. Joseph's First Communion Catechism. Basically what they say, and this shows how Catholicism undermines Jesus Christ. Basically what they say is that Mary offers up Jesus Christ to the Father. Okay, this is in the New St. Joseph First Communion Catechism, Lesson 7, page 33. It says, The Father in heaven was pleased with this love, so he raised the body of his Son from the dead. He opened the gates of heaven to welcome his Son. Mary gave Jesus to the Father for us. So they're saying that Mary is who gave Jesus Christ to the Father. Uh, this just shows the fact that Roman Catholicism has turned Mary into this full-on goddess. That's when we really get down to the facts of the matter. Uh, Roman Catholicism is just the ancient Babylonian goddess worship in, condemned in Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 17, down to verse 25. You know, they're, they're baking cakes and burning incense to the Queen of Heaven. That's 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 the Catholic Mary goddess. Okay, the, the biblical Mary of God's word would never accept this kind of worship. Luke chapter 1, verse 48 to 49 shows that. But here's some examples of the Holy Scriptures clearly showing that Jesus Christ is who, pur is who purifies the saints by himself. And Jesus Christ by himself offered up the sacrifice. Okay, Mary had no part in, in our salvation or in the sacrifice of Christ. Luke chapter 2 Verse 22 and 24 shows that Mary was still unclean and needed purification. But here's the scriptures on the matter. Hebrews chapter 1, verse number 3. Okay, Jesus Christ did it to himself. Okay, Mary was not needed for any kind of help in that matter. Uh, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding, upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Himself. It doesn't say by him and also Mary, his co-mediatrix or whatever. No, by himself. Hebrews chapter 7, verse number 27. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 27. Who needeth not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice, first for his own sins and then for the sins for, and for the people's. For this he did once when he offered up himself. Okay, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Okay, Jesus Christ did it all himself. It's Jesus Christ whose blood is what purifies you from all sin. 1 John chapter 1, verse 7 to 9. Roman Catholicism undermines Jesus Christ and turns Mary into this de facto goddess, into where you basically need her to provide you salvation. And also, the paragraph number 829 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church literally says that the, the saints are to look to Mary to have their sins purified and be holy. It's that simple. Roman Catholicism is just that ancient Babylonian goddess worship. It's all that it is. Roman Catholicism is of the devil. Roman Catholicism is just mystery of Babylon condemned in Revelation 17 and 18. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.